Hey guys, Proper English here, and today I'm going to show you my image transparency circuitry. So, the first thing to know is that each pixel gets two bits of data. So, I've color coded the bits so that you can see what's going on pretty easily. The red circuitry controls the on state, so if red is on, the pixel's on. The black circuitry controls the off state, so if black is on, the pixel's off. Now, if both red and black are off, then the pixel is transparent and you can see through it. So, let's jump into the circuitry and take a look at how that works. So, let's start off by dropping down and turning one of our uh, pixel inputs on. So, this, uh, this setup can handle three images, and none of the images are going to appear until I load them into one of the layers. So let's load this one into the middle layer, and we do this using a multiplexer. So all three images are multiplexed, and we're selecting the one that's on. That on signal comes up to the pixel and turns it on. Now, let's take a look at the layer above it. So if we look over at the black circuitry, none of, uh, none of the inputs are on, all right? So what that means is that if I select an image up here, so if I select image 2 or image 3, we're still going to see the pixel is on because it's transparent. Both uh, the black and the red are off. So let's try that. Let's select this one, and you see it's still on. Now let's try selecting our other one, and, uh, and we'll see that it's still on. Now, if one of these was giving an on signal, it would be fine because it, it wouldn't make any difference. It would just overlap with the signal from the lower layer. But if we come down here and we turn one of our other uh, other black uh, inputs on, so this is saying the pixel's off, and we put that on a higher layer, we need the pixel to turn off. So let's see. Right now, we're selecting that uh, that input in the black circuitry, and that piston retracted. So what it's doing is it's cutting off the signal from the layer below it, and it turns the pixel off. It's that simple. That's how this transparency system works, this two-bit uh, per pixel system. It's pretty cool. The, uh, the two-bit per pixel system actually gives me a lot of room to do some other stuff, and you'll see that stuff soon, um, because having more information per pixel is, uh, is giving me more to work with. But it also makes doing some things a little bit more difficult. For example, doing shifting. And this was something that I was showing off in my, uh, in my second video about the transparency circuitry. So I've labeled the shifter the same way. I've got the, uh, the data cell for the red in red. And you can see it's just a, uh, a loop with a repeater. And the, uh, the cell for the black in black. So the inputs are on the bottom. Let's try turning one on. And, uh, and you'll see that the memory cell turns on. And we can do the same thing down with our red circuitry for our on state. So uh, yeah, it was actually a pretty convenient uh, setup to find those two inputs. There we go, it's on. And the rest of the circuitry works just as any four-way shifter would work. You have AND gates for each direction. And, uh, and every time you activate an AND gate, it clears out the memory cell. Simple as that. Same way as the, uh, the other four-way shifter I showed you works. Same way as the rotational shifter works. And there you go. That's my, uh, my uh, transparency circuitry with the four-way shifter. It's, uh, it's pretty neat. And uh, like I said, you'll definitely be seeing this again soon. Uh, I'll be doing some more stuff with this circuitry. The two bits... Uh, per pixel thing is is pretty neat and there will be some fun stuff I can do with that so the other thing I want to say is I need to give a big thank you to all my subscribers right before I started making this video I saw that I hit 300 subscribers and that's awesome I'm super excited about it and I think I'm I'm getting close to 21,000 views right now super excited about that so thanks to all of you guys who are subscribing and watching my videos uh, it's awesome it makes it so much fun for me and uh, and yeah so I've got plenty more coming and you have lots to look forward to we're getting to a point where Pretty soon, I'm going to be starting to assemble the full GPU and releasing a version 1. 
So, uh, so yeah, stay tuned, and I'll see you guys next time.